and I met when I was eh, 18, 19 years old, um, when I first got to Atlanta, and um, he was like one of my first boyfriends, so that was hilarious. But through that, we had such a great friendship. Tiny, of course, being a part of Escape, me being a part of Destiny's Child, we looked up to them. Wow. Wow. Yes. yes. Live. We're still hanging out with singer, songwriter, actress, and mommy to be looking good. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Hair. You, can, you ready for your hair to be short? Yes. I just gotta let these cheeks and this chin go down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so talk a little bit about Ti and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle. Yes. Wow. Okay. So this is really, really cool because I've never done anything like this before. And y'all know me to be. I'm real. Like mm, door mm -hmm. closed. Right. Personal mm -hmm. life. That's good. <laughs> you tried it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So this is is really really cool because you know I trust um, I, I trust I trust the production team mm -hmm. um, and I've been a fan of the show for so long right. and I love that it's all about family and mm -hmm. with me starting my own family right you know it's the perfect time to do that and right. of course there's and also this is why me and my husband was like cool we are right like our stuff was straight God you I know mm -hmm. you he said in his exact mm -hmm. same seat Pastor John Gray mm -hmm. basically prophesied that I would be married and pregnant within a year. Wow. When I was dating at the time, nothing. Oh wow. my God. Nothing. Wow. And so for that to actually happen, I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to use this platform to really kind of show how God moves. Yes. Right? Yes. To share our yeah. testimony. Yes. And how our stuff isn't perfect. And yes, when you, you know, things move yeah. that fast, there's stuff that comes with it. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, because we do have a foundation, a great foundation mm -hmm. with both family and our faith, um, we, we push through things. Yes. And we're, so you know, right. he, I mean, look. Uh, right, right. Things right. is popping. Right. Things are popping. Right. Pop uh, yeah. right. And then you have a bonus baby um, yes, as well. Yes, and you've been able to affirm her and just, just love on her throughout this process. And yeah. how has kind of being on T.I. and Tiny and their blended family mm -hmm. helped you with your blended family? A lot. Like, I talk to Tiny about it all the time um, because she's had to go through a lot of what I'm about to go through. Mm. Um, and so, you know, the way she just seems to be the the rock of that family yes, she is. and she you know her heart is so big mm -hmm. and you have to have patience you have to have understanding and that's what i'm learning in this process like all right you know for madison i've always wanted a little girl named madison wow. you can ask my friends my family i wrote it on my vision board and everything and first conversation with tommy he told me his daughter's name i was like okay this is meant to be and it's scary <laughs> <laughs> This is for real. Yeah. And so to meet her, for her to be such a beautiful little girl, and also for the communication between myself, her mother, mm -hmm. and her mom got remarried as well mm -hmm. recently, um, I realized how important that is. And, and I realized that, you know, talking and, and making yes. sure y'all on the same page yes. with everything yes. is important because yes. at the end of the day, it's all about her. Mm -hmm. And what's best for her? You yes. gotta remove yourself. So right, I'm yeah. in a very unselfish space right now. Yes. Yeah. I got things taken care of my body. <laughs> I got, a, I got a husband, and y'all know what that come with. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, I got yeah, a baby yeah. that need me. Um, and she, and I love because I love it because like she's six, so she's getting it. She's asking the questions, but she's also coming into her own. Aww. So we have the Black Girl Magic conversation a lot. Yeah, oh, a lot, yes. a whole lot. And it's like wow, like she'll, you know, she she's going through a complexion thing right now. Like, am I beautiful? I don't feel like I'm light enough. Aww. I'm dark enough. Oh, my. my hair. I want it to be longer. I want to look like the girl on TV. Mm. And I get to put her in the mirror and say, say that you're beautiful. Say that you're enough. Say that you are purpose. Mm -hmm. Say that you have black girl magic. Mm -hmm. Say all these beautiful things about yourself because I don't know if I was really doing mm -hmm. that at six. Right. 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 So right. I get to start her early and I feel like God gave me a little bit of practice rehearsal time because right. I got one time. Right. Yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so I'm, I'm excited about that. Good. We want to talk a little bit about Greenleaf. It oh, is boy. Here we go. amazing. Thank you. That is a very, very challenging role to play, don't you think? I mean, this is uh, oh, really giving the behind the scenes of the African American community in mm -hmm. the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you hoping to portray? What are you hoping the viewers to take away from watching a show? Wow. Okay, here we go. So <laughs> Rochelle Cross. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Rochelle be turning up. Y'all yeah, I mean Rochelle? Michelle is a whole nother level of somebody, but <laughs> I love her. it was awesome because I started when I went in audition for this role. The, I, I think she was only supposed to do three episodes mm -hmm. um, in season two. And so 
I kind of developed her a little bit before I got on set, but as I got on set, something just came over me and was like, this is who she is. Mm -hmm. And that went from three episodes to six episodes to now a whole season of season three. Won't he do it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so the cool Such thing is the writers, um, I get surprised every time I look at, you know, the scripts, because I'm like, oh, she doing that this week? Like, <laughs> oh, Lord, they're going to kill her. They're going to hate her. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening. But it's true. There are people, not just women, there are mm. people out there like that in the church. Sure yeah. And it's also mm -hmm. people, I mean, you're getting to see in season three why she is the way she is. Mm -hmm. She's hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. her the people hurt people. Yes, yes. yes they do. You yes. know what I'm saying? Do. She's they dealing do. with something, you know, that her father, an unsettled anger, mm -hmm. unforgiveness thing. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens when you harbor unforgiveness. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you start bitter. to take it out on people. You become bitter. Yes. You know, she's motivated to really take this entire church down because of what he, she feels you know, happened to her father. Yeah. So I think, you know, I'm thankful to the writers that, you know, you're able to see why she is the way she is, but is she going to get away with it? Right. But it, does that make it right? Right. Mm. You know what I mean? But she's an interesting character. I have to change my voice and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I go between, it's scary. How blessed it's are you? Scary. You are yes. so blessed. Yes. Thank and you. speaking so blessed. of all your blessings, you know, I always got to go back to the singing. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, here we go. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I was pregnant with both my children, my voice changed, first of oh, all. Oh, wow. Are you experiencing that? Yes, and breathing, too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. also, has it inspired you to be up to write records because there's so mm. there's such an intimacy happening right yeah. now in your stomach oh, wow. yes and it really can put you in a real deep personal space so i wonder if that has inspired you to just kind of like stuff has popped in your mind and jot things down yes i write in my phone notes all the time <laughs> okay i'm a very emotional person and i've, <laughs> and I've become so emotional oh, I like, i'm yes. a real yes. g yes. i'm a thug y'all you know what i'm saying oh, i got yeah. i'm yeah. real hardcore with it but I know both. <laughs> this baby has brought the tears out of me. And yeah. it's, I mean, it's like I can't help but to be emotional about things wow. and express myself. So, of course, as a writer, I'm going to express mm -hmm. myself through my pen. Yes. So I'll, you know, jot things down in my my um, my phone. And it, I'm bringing up my sister again. Well, I guess because we have a sister right. circle. But Adria, right. like, <laughs> she was like, you know what, honey? And this is how she talks. Like, I think that you should write a lullaby oh, or that's something. Oh, so cute. You know, yes. even if you put it in your phone, yeah. like, you I think you can go back and just sing it to the baby. Yes. yes. That's so nice. Yes. <laughs> so nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Latoya, we here at the circle. What? Yeah. Y'all got gifts? Yeah. We got a yeah. gift. Yeah. gift for you. Yeah. You know my baby shower was yesterday, so I'm like, right on time. <laughs> we are right on time. We Am I opening? opening? Yeah, you can open it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look at this uh -uh. one. I love it. For her? Stop it. Oh, oh. it's just so oh. Ain't nobody gonna be walking back. We let the That's people right. see. That's you know, right. Guys, right. Uh, yeah. Circle ones and dolls. It's great. Can we yes, give it up for this you. amazing woman, yes, Latoya? Yes. Yes. p.m. Eastern, and she's also starring in the new reality series, T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle, yes. premiering on VH1 October 22nd. One more time for Latoya Leggett! 